Well, today we're in John's Gospel, chapter 17. Hope you've already read the chapter and written in your journal what God said to you. This is a chapter that uh, I always find very meaningful when I read it. I've, I've read it so many times. I've preached numerous sermons from it, sermon series. It's, it's just a, a beautiful chapter, so much here. Um, but this time when I, when I read chapter 17, um, God drew my heart to one word, and it's a simple word, a word that connected the two main thoughts found in one verse. And, and so it's found in, in, in verse 3, chapter 17, verse 3. The word which God used to really catch my attention, so simple, was the word that, T-H-A-T. Let's look at verse 3. Jesus says, this is eternal life, that, there's the word, this is eternal life, that they may know you, he's praying to the Father, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, referring to himself, Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. And when I, when I was reading that, it, this is eternal life, that. Normally when we hear or I hear the word eternal life, we think about you know, time, duration, eternal life, everlasting life, for existing forever, living forever in heaven. But in this verse, Jesus says that, and, 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 and eternal life is what I just said. It is everlasting life. But here, Jesus said it's also something else. It's something more than just eternal existence. In verse 3, he says, this is eternal life. That, they, that we, that you, me, we may know you, God the Father, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, his son, whom you have sent. So eternal life is everlasting life. But Jesus says, now get this, that eternal life is knowing God, the Father, and knowing God, the Son. Knowing the Father and knowing Jesus Christ. And I had to ponder that. Wow. And, and when he says no, it's not just an intellectual knowledge. It's just not having your mind filled with information. I actually went to the Greek New Testament to check the word translated no here. And it's the word for experiential knowledge, you might say. Knowing and, 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 and knowing intimately, knowing experientially. Uh, in this chapter, Jesus talks a lot about how he, as the son and the father, knew one another. Monisa, my wife and I, we know each other. And, and when Jesus talks about knowing the Father and the Son here, it's, 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 it's that idea that we, we know. We know God. We know Jesus. We experience them. It's a relation. It's a relationship. And he says that's eternal life. Just as, as much as eternal life is about everlasting life, it is about knowing experientially God, about knowing experientially uh, Jesus. And if eternal life means I know God, I know Christ, I should do everything I can to get to know my Lord better than I already do. It's about a relationship. And I think that's the reason later in this chapter, in verse 20, Jesus prayed for me and you. Look at verse 20. I do not ask on behalf of these alone, referring to the original disciples who were with him in the Garden of Gethsemane. I don't pray just for them. I'm also, he says, praying for those who believe in me through their words. All the believers throughout history after those initial disciples. Jesus said, I am praying for them, meaning he prayed for you and he prayed for me. Why? Why? He knows us. We know him. That's, that's equally part of eternal life. Th think of it like the eternal. The eternal is invading the temporal. The eternal, the everlasting, the imperishable, invading the mortal. That, that having eternal life means, yes, I have everlasting life, but elsewhere, 
And Jesus said it's about abundant life. It's about knowing him. And I think we share, we, 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 we sell the faith short. We sell discipleship and Christianity short when we, when, we, when we make it. It's just about going to heaven. It's just about living forever. Oh, it is about that, but it's about so much more. It's about knowing God. That is eternal life. Those who know Jesus have life, and those who do not know Jesus do not have life. Eternal life is something I have in the here and now as well as what I will have after death. And it's about living forever, but it's also about knowing Jesus. So I encourage you, I urge you, I plead with you, do everything you can to get to know Jesus even better. Because you're in a relationship with Him, and you should want it to be the best it could be. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.